Lord, only you can speak to the depths of the soul. I don't know who this is for. But Lord, I'm, I'm going to speak to those who have backslidden. To those, oh Lord, who have been growing cold and indifferent to the call of God and the things of Christ. Oh God, come and speak. God says, the word that I've sent to you, I didn't send it out to be void. But the word I've given to you is you're going to accomplish the very thing I said it would. Lord, I flee to you to hide me. And folks, the original that says, I will veil myself in you. Now you think about it. You see, our faith now can't be based on emotion. Our faith cannot be based on just the testimonies of others who've been delivered. It can't, they can't be cliches. It can't be just a shout. We have to have a foundation for the faith that we're going to need. And this has to be laid hold of God's own claims of who He is. This whole thing starts out right here. Oh, hear my prayer, Lord, give, hear my supplication. In your faithfulness, answer me. And in your righteousness. And here's the challenge. God, here's the basis upon which I come to you. Not what I've heard in the past about people. But here's what you told me you are. You said that you are faithful, that you are just, that you are holy. You cannot lie. And you can't be God if you weren't faithful. You said you're long-suffering. You said you're the God of peace. You said you're the God of my strength. Now, I'm coming to you. I'm going to lift my hands to you. I'm going to believe what you said about yourself. And I am coming on the merits of nothing I have done, no righteousness of my own, but on the promise of God, what you told me. Remember the word unto your servant, which you have caused me to hope in. This is my comfort in my affliction, for you have now quickened me. How was he quickened? Lord God, I've lifted my hands to you. I have trusted you. I have claimed your promises. You are who you said you are. And from now on, from this day on, I'm going to veil myself in you. I'm going to cut myself off from all confidence in my flesh or in people or anyone else. I'm going to throw myself at your mercy, your grace, your power, your glory. And I'm veiling myself in Christ.